Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Are ready for another episode? Today I'm gonna talk about new ranging. There's one specific sequence I want to highlight today. It's the 3D space flare. Uh, you've probably seen this artifact before. It's the fade artifact for um, some it bothers, for others it doesn't. And a few weeks ago I posted this uh, solution on how to get rid of this artifact on the social media. Uh, I did this on a 3D scanner, so there was a lot of discussion and comments, and I noticed there was one comment which made me curious. This person was asking, is this also possible to do on a 1.5 touch lab? So I need to test it out, and I have the results with me here today, so hang on and I will show you. So guys, before we continue, there's one specific person I want to say thanks to. That's my friend Pedro. He's the one who gave me the tips and I was just trying it out. It works. So Pedro, you solved it. I also recommend you guys to read this paper. It explains more about this field artifact and 3D in general. So uh, I will leave the link in the description down below. So read it whenever you have time. So guys, before I show you results of a 1.5 Tesla, I just want to show you results of a 3 Tesla. This is the image I posted on social media a few weeks ago where I managed to get rid of the artifact. So the upper row is more or less the original sequence with uh, non-modificated. So the lower row is the one which is modified, optimized for removing the artifact. So I'm also trying to show you the red arrows uh, where the fit artifact is on the sagittal plane. Now you can see it also seen it in the coronal plane. So the main difference between this are the averages. So the upper row is run by parallel imaging PAT2, GRAPA, average on next one. And the lower row is added to average 2. So going from 1 to 2, we remove this artifact, but you also get a prolonging scan time. So we are combining it with the PAT4, 2 by 2 Kuiperinia. So why are we not using GRAPA4? I'm not going into details in this video, but the solution for having the same image quality or better image quality is using the Kuiperinia with higher path factor, which is done in this case. All right, this is the results of 1.5 Tesla. The upper row is more or less the original sequence. The lower row is the one which is modified to remove the artifacts. So let's check the images. This is Sagittal, scrolling through it. Image quality is not that bad. And take a closer look at the little brain or cerebellum. Let's zoom in a little bit here. You can see the sharpness of the images. You see there? And the fill out effect. Up there, down there, is gone in the lower row images. So let's check the coronal plane. You can see there's no fill out effect on top of the brain there. The image quality is still good in the reconstruction images and the transversal. So this is the same scan time, but we also managed to remove the artifact. Well guys, this is the end of the video. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. Uh, even though it's possible on a free T scan, it's also possible to do this on a 1.5. So, uh, Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe, comment and like. And if there are any specific video you want me to make, uh, just write it down in the comment and I will try to find some time to do it. Thank you.